thanks for joining me for today's practice. We're going to start lying down on the mat and we're going to move through the entire body with particular focus on the feet and the ankles and the upper body. Um, hopefully it's going to make you feel really good. So let's start lying down on the back. Opening the feet out as wide as the mat. So outside edges of the feet parallel with the mat and then let the knees drop in towards one another and take the arms a little bit away from the sides of the body, palms facing up and close down the eyes. So with the knees dropping in, just opens up the back of the pelvis. It might feel even uh, nicer to just open the feet out even wider. It just depends on how much internal rotation you've got there but letting the, the knees rest into one another. So you don't have to hold the legs up. Starting to feel into the breath. Noticing which parts of the body are in contact with the mat. The soles, the feet, the back of the pelvis, the middle, the upper back, backs of the shoulders and back of the arms and the hands and the back of the head. So allowing those points of contact just become a little bit deeper, a little bit heavier. Last couple of breaths here. And then let's open the eyes. Keep the legs as they are. Just take the arms a little bit further away from you. Feet on the mat, as wide as the mat. And then dropping the knees over to the right hand side, turning the head to look over the left shoulder. And then inhaling the legs back up through center, dropping them to the other side. Turning the head to look over the right shoulder. And then inhaling through center, dropping the knees over to the right, turn the head to look over to the left and inhaling center, dropping the knees to the left, head looking to the right, and then inhaling, bringing the legs back up to center. Bring the feet in hip distance apart, arms down by your side. Let's take the legs up towards the ceiling. Feet can stay hip distance apart, flex through the feet, take an inhale, and then exhale, allow the heels to just drop back in towards the bottom, and then take the legs back up again, inhaling, and then exhaling, drop the heels in, and then inhale, take it up and then exhale, drop the heels back in, and then inhaling up. Try to strain the legs as much as you can. Keep the shoulders relaxed. We're gonna bend through the knees and flex the feet. Take an inhale, and then as you exhale, point through the feet, straighten the legs, and then inhale to bend, and then exhale, point and stretch, and inhale, bend to flex, and then exhale, point to stretch. Inhale to bend, and exhale, point to stretch. And again, inhale, bend, and exhale, point to stretch. We'll just go two more. Really press out through the ball of the foot. Try to stretch out through all the toes. And then finishing off your last one, flex the feet. And then taking the feet in opposite directions. So circling out through the ankles. Try to make the circles as large as you can. Keep the breath nice and easy and open. Changing the direction of the circle. And then finishing that off, bring the knees in towards the chest, squeezing them in. Take the legs back up towards the ceiling. Bring the right knee in towards the chest as you extend that left leg away long, pressing down through the back of the left thigh. And then take both legs back up towards the ceiling, swapping it around. Bring the left knee in, extend the right leg long. Bring the legs back up through center, inhale, and then exhale. Extend that left leg away, bring the right knee in, inhaling back up, and then left knee in right leg long and again inhale legs up and then exhaling right knee in one more time inhale exhale left knee in inhaling back up bring the knees back in towards the chest take the legs back up towards the ceiling bring the right knee in towards the chest interlacing through the fingers and then take that left leg long and then taking an inhale extend the legs back up bringing the left knee in as you extend the right leg long, squeezing that left knee in, letting that right leg rest just for a moment. 
back up through center inhale and then the right knee in extend the left leg long and then inhaling center exhale left knee in right leg long let the shoulders be relaxed inhale center right knee in inhale center and left knee in bringing the legs back up through the center bringing the knees in towards the chest hands behind the thighs rock yourself up to a seated position extend the legs out long flexing through the feet coming right up onto the sitting bones and then taking an inhale reach the arms up and then as you exhale fold forward and let's sweep the hands back about a forearm distance behind you fingers pointing forward feet uh, hip distance apart knees bent take the hips up towards the ceiling and if it's comfortable on your neck let the head relax back and then bring the head back up to center dropping the hips back down extend the legs out in front of you taking an inhale reach the arms up exhale folding forward sweep the hands back about a forearm distance behind you bend through the knees taking an inhale lift the hips up letting the head relax back bring the head back up we'll do that one more time extend the legs out long taking the arms up inhale and then exhale forward fold sweeping the hands back bend through the knees taking an inhale letting the head relax back and bring the head back up lowering the hips back down and extending the legs out long coming over the knees i'm going to turn to face you so we're going to come into our japanese seated position knees pointing forward feet pointing back shoulders right up over the hips interlacing the fingers behind the back try to press the heels of the hands together reach the hands back lift the sternum up taking an inhale as you exhale bringing the palms and hands down lift through the belly come up onto the tops of the feet let the head relax down and then the feet come back down again sit the hips down bring the hands back behind you reach the hands back inhale lift up through the sternum lift the eyes and then exhale bring the hands down lift through the belly onto the tops of the feet let the head relax and then knees come down sit the hips back down one more time interlacing through the fingers reach the hands back inhaling lift the eyes and then exhale bring the hands forward lift through the belly onto the tops of the feet sit the hips back down coming back upright take the left hand down and the right hand to the right knee opening the knee out to the side so you're leaning over slightly to the side so coming onto the top of the foot and then placing that leg back down taking the right hand down left hand onto the left knee opening the knee out coming onto the top of the foot and then placing it back down left hand down right knee opens onto the top of the foot and placing it back down and opening up that left knee and placing it back down we'll go one more time opening up that right knee placing it back down opening up that left knee and placing it back down coming over into your tabletop position setting up the wrists underneath the shoulders knees underneath the hips and then tuck the right toes under really flex that foot come down onto the forearms elbows underneath the shoulders and we'll just take a little bit of a rock forward and back just opening up the back of that right calf pressing down through the palms of hands and then holding that heel back keep the breath easy and then coming up onto the hands taking that right foot across that left leg and then looking over the left shoulder so you're making a crescent moon shape with the spine if you're looking at it from above and then bringing that right leg back to your tabletop take the left leg back left toes tucked under coming down onto the forearms once again elbows and hands shoulder distance apart rocking that left heel forward and back so opening up the back of the ankle back of the calf holding that left heel back keep lifting the front of the body away from the mat open breathing keeping that left leg straight and then coming back up onto the hands taking that left foot across the body keeping the left toes tucked under and then turning the head to look over the right shoulder trying to take a peek towards that left heel and then bringing that left leg back in tucking the toes under coming into your down facing dog 
Trying to straighten those arms, pressing down through the inside edges of the hands. Inhale to come forward into your plank position. Make sure with your plank you're not over flexed with those wrists, you might need to take it a bit longer. Crown reaching forward, take an inhale, and then exhale back into down facing dog. And then inhaling forward once again to plank, and exhale back, down facing dog. And one more time, inhaling forward, and exhaling back. Hook this left foot behind the right ankle, same thing. Inhaling, come forward into your plank position, sternum reaching forward, and then exhale back, down facing dog. Inhale forward into your plank, exhale down facing dog. And one more time, inhaling forward, and exhaling back. Releasing that left foot, bringing it forward in between the hands, coming up onto the fingertips, pressing the back of the right thigh up towards the ceiling, sternum reaching forward, inhaling, and then exhale to start to strain this front leg, flex the left foot towards the face. Try to draw that left hip back. Lift the right heel up towards the ceiling. And if you can, you can pop the palms flat, letting the back of the neck relax. And then bending into that front leg, step back into your down facing dog. Taking a breath here. Hooking that right foot behind the left ankle. Inhale to come forward into your plank position. Make sure you're long enough. Crown of the head reaching forward. And then back into your down facing dog. Inhale forward into your plank. Exhale back. Down facing dog. And again, inhaling forward. Exhaling back. Stepping that right foot forward in between the hands. Finding your sprinter's lunge, pressing the back of that left thigh towards the ceiling, sternum reaching forward, inhale, and then exhale to start to strain that front leg, flexing the right foot towards the face, lifting that left heel up, and palms can be flat if that's available. Trying to draw that right hip back. Easy breath. Placing that right foot down, bending through that front leg. Step back into your down facing dog. Looking forward towards the hands. Bring the hands in a little bit closer together. Stepping the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Left foot to the outside of the left hand. Come down into your deep yogic squat. Palms and hands pressing together. Relax the shoulders down. Crown of the head reaching up. Feeling free to close down the eyes. Just allowing the hips to be heavy. And then opening the eyes, take the right hand to the outside of that left ankle, left hand to the base of the base of the head, and then turn the head to the left. Try to lift that left elbow up towards the ceiling, and then swapping it around. Take that left hand to the outside of the right ankle, right hand to the base of the head, right elbow reaching up. Taking one more inhale, reach that right elbow up. And then as you exhale, swap it around. We're going to just move through one more time. Left hand to the base of the head. Inhale, reach it up. And then swap it around. Left hand to the right ankle, right hand to the head. Inhale, reach it up. And then exhale to release. Bring the hands a bit further forward so you can shift the weight into the hands, rotate the feet to parallel. Walk your feet in into your Uttanasana. Let the head relax down. This is somewhere you might want to use a block or if this is enough for you, then just stay on flat feet. If you can, shift the hands slightly forward and we're going to rise up into the balls of the feet. Try to lift the belly button away from the thighs. Back of the neck relaxes. Easy breathing. Taking one more inhale, and then as you exhale, lowering the heels down, sitting the hips all the way down, and make your way all the way down. Use your hands as much as you need to. And then from here, I'll just turn around so you can see. Bending the knees up, taking that left leg underneath and the right leg on top. So trying to have both hips down 
as much as you can, stacking knee to knee, or you can always come to your cross legged position, so just the right leg in front. Taking a couple of moments here, just upright, letting both sitting bones relax down towards the mat, inhaling, and then as you exhale, starting to walk the hands forward as to where you can. Try to keep both sitting bones down. So allow the shoulders to relax. Just directing the breath into where you feel it most in the body. Usually that right hip area. And then walking the hands back up, taking that right hand away, left arm up and over, dropping that right shoulder down, turning the head to look up towards the ceiling. And keep pressing down through that left sitting bone. And then inhaling, coming back upright. Let's swap it around. So take the legs out. Just taking your right leg underneath, left leg on top. Having both sitting bones grounding down. And just once again, we'll just take a couple of breaths upright, letting the shoulders relax, feeling free to close the eyes. Taking an inhale, and then as you exhale, starting to walk the hands forward as to where you can. Noticing if there's any unnecessary effort that you can start to let go of here. So maybe in the face, in the shoulders. And then starting to walk the hands back up. Just taking that left hand away, right arm up and over, dropping that left shoulder down, turning the head to look up towards the ceiling if that's okay. And pressing back down through that right sitting bone as you reach out through the top hand. And then inhaling, coming back upright, uncrossing the legs, making your way down onto your back for Shavasana, just making sure that you're warm. Extend the legs out long, letting the feet fall away from one another, arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up, closing down the eyes. Just with each exhale, allowing the body to get a little bit heavier and a little bit softer. allowing yourself to come to complete rest for these next few minutes. Please feel free to stay here for as long as you need to. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. Namaste.